Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the module 3 super important question of ACA which is regarding the non-linear pipeline problem. So here what you have to explain is first you have to explain what is non-linear pipeline like an idiot you have to not write just what is the problem there are five key points in that you will write it later first you have to explain what is non-linear pipeline then you have to write that for expecting full marks. So for more videos like this make sure the like button subscribe to itself for more videos like this and don't wasting any more time let's get started. First is what is non-linear pipeline problem. The first you have to explain what is non-linear. Okay, non-linear pipeline. Okay, non-linear means what? Non-linear means you'll be not having a linear. That's all. What is not linear? Linear means straight. Non-linear means it is something like this curve type. Okay. And what is non-linear pipeline? Non-linear pipeline. The transfer of control is non-linear. If you are transferring the control from one part to the other part, and if this is direct, it is called as linear. It is not linear means it is getting transferred, but it is getting transferred to some other pipelines as well. Okay or else it is taking an uneven amount of time to transfer or the speed is different or the resources are different all of these are valid points you have to write in the answer script to expect full marks a dynamic pipeline means it is always changing it's not just having a specific amount of data and it enables a feed forward and feedback feed forward and feedback connections additionally to streamlining connections again okay. additional to streamlining connection we have two more connections with feedback and feed forward connections that kind of pipeline is called non-linear pipeline and it can start the task from multiple reservation tables to start a task you will obviously look at table what the table says that task you will do it looks not only at one uh, table it will look at multiple reservation tables and from that it will select the tasks to uh, uh, implement now you can ask me like if it is looking in multiple tables it is uh, executing many tasks at a time that's what pipeline is it will execute many tasks at a time it is parallel processing right and uh, enable multiple number of initiation of multiple functions in the same pipeline the same pipeline has a multiple layers in which very different functions are getting executed from different reservation tables these are the three key points of drive for non-linear pipeline net now let's have a look at major problems We're having five major problems let's look at one by one the first problem is that it is a dynamic pipeline because they can be reconstructed to implement variable function multiple times so what happens is <coughs> there uh, is a high possibility that some error might happen or some uh, function might get interconnected or mixed up or some differences will happen it is not uh, having a specific amount of data so that type of data problem may also occur that's the first problem which is uh, having in the non-linear pipeline second is that it enables feed forward and feedback connection additionally to streamline connection so the problem here is that whenever uh, different kinds of connections are there there has to be a synchronization between whether it is forward or whether it is backward at a particular amount of time if it is not happening that means there is a possibility of a high error to take place third one is function partitioning is associatively complex because the pipeline stages are interconnected with loops in addition to streamlining connections it is complex why because many things are interconnected it is very hard to handle in case of multiple things come at the same time which has to be associated with what what function has to be called what task has to be executed which resources are required all these categories come in this one those were the three points you have to get full marks right so listen to the next two points as well the output of the pipeline is not essentially produced from the previous stage this is also another uh, disadvantage means if you are getting an output it's not just coming from this one as i told you there are multiple reservation table data getting into consideration so from any of these the output can come like this right so you are not sure that which um thing from which thing it came this output came right that is one of another disadvantage and the last one is the reservation table is non-trivial non-trivial means you cannot just ignore it trivial means something very uh, less and something very small that is to be ignored right in the sense that there is no linear streamline for data flow if there is a linear data flow then you can just ignore it but it is non-linear which you have to take into consideration a lot of factors that uh, plays a major role in the reservation table those were the five key points make sure you hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one